Want to learn how to do any times table in one minute or less? Then click on the link below and master any times table you want. Now on to the video. Hello my fellow intuitive minds and welcome to the video. Today we'll be looking at an alternative way of generating the 4 times table. I've already done a video looking at how to generate the 4 times table from scratch, so be sure to check that out as well and see which method you prefer to use. Whichever method works best for you, stick with that one. Okay, so let's get to it. Most commonly, I find that a lot of people find the 1 times table, the 10 times table, and the 11 times table the most easiest to remember. But also, another times table which falls into that category as well is the 5 times table, which is again one of the easiest ones that people not only find it easy to remember but also like to say because it just rolls off the tongue so easily and they can just say it so fluently. But in saying that, did you know that you can actually generate the 4 times table using the 5 times table and the 1 times table? Let's take a look. We all know that the number 4 can be generated from subtracting 1 from 5 or 5 minus 1 equals 4. And if we substitute the respective times tables in for each number in the subtraction of 5 minus 1, we get the 4 times table as the result. So 5 minus 1 means the 5 times table minus the 1 times table collectively equals the 4 times table. As you can see, each line in the 4 times table is generated by subtracting each multiple in the 1 times table from the respective multiple in the 5 times table and you get the 4 times table as a result. Most commonly, a lot of people find it difficult to remember certain 4 times table facts such as what is 4 times 6 or 4 times 8. So using this method, all we need to do is we just need to remember as long as we know the 5 times table, we just take away the respective number in the 1 times table and we get the required answer in the 4 times table. So for instance, suppose you didn't know what 4 times 6 was. So the first thing you would do, you'd work out what 5 times 6 was, in this case 5 times 6 is 30, and then we just take away 6. Because if we take that line, 5 times 6 is 30, take away 1 times 6 which is 6, and that gives us 24 which is 4 times 6. Let's take another one, what's 4 times 8 or 8 times 4? The order doesn't matter, the result is the same. So what's 4 times 8? What you do first is you work out what 5 times 8 is. So 5 times 8 is 40, then you subtract or take away 8. So 5 times 8 is 40, take away 8 is 32. So 4 times 8 is 32. Another example, what's 4 times 12? So first you work out what 5 times 12 is, which is 60, then you take away 12. So 60 take away 12 is 48, so 4 times 12 is 48. So in other words, if we let n be the number that we are multiplying by 4, and we want to know what the answer is to 4 times n, all we do is we work out what 5 times n is first, and then we take away that same n to the result, and we get the answer to what 4 times n would be. So for example, if you didn't know what 4 times 4 was, you would say let n equals 4 and you would put that everywhere where n appears into the formula. So first you would work out what 5 times 4 was. So 5 times 4 is 20. Then you would take away 4. So 20 take away 4 is 16. So 4 times 4 equals 16. So just remember that formula. 5 times n minus n. So if you're taking an exam and you don't have it committed to memory, but you definitely know the 5 times table, you can write the 5 times table out and then take away the 1 times table from each of the numbers respectively, and that will give you the 4 times table. I hope that helps. Let me know what you think about this method in the comments below. Give it a go yourself. Let me know how you got on, and I'll see you soon. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful. The more people engage, the more people like, the more they comment, the more they share, the more we can help each other and the more we can collectively become intuitive minds. If you enjoyed the contents of this video, then smash that like button. Do leave a comment on how you got on and if it helped you at all. Share with anyone who you think this may benefit as we want to create awareness and help raise awareness by helping others reach a better understanding of how to do this work. And it would also help with the YouTube algorithm. And do subscribe for more tips and tricks like this and other motivational videos. So together we can educate, innovate and actuate. And if you want to become a part of the Intuitive Minds Collective, you can check out the brand new Intuitive Mind store, which is full of the latest limited edition designs for t-shirts and hoodies. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.